Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use and set up the WP Review plugin, which is a free plugin which is customizable in a lightweight way to create reviews using stars, percentage, or point rating system, and also includes support for translation, WordPress multi-user, Google rich snippets, and unlimited colors. As I mentioned, it's free and you can either download it from mythemeshop.com or from the WordPress plugin repository, which you'll find at wordpress.org slash plugins slash WP dash review. Now you can install the plugin straight from your WordPress dashboard and that's what I'm going to do here. You can just go to plugins and then press add new. And from there you want to search plugins and you can just search for WP review. Hit return there and you're going to find WP Review by My Theme Shop is available and you can just press install now in order to install it onto your site. WordPress will handle that for you and now all you need to do is press activate plugin. You'll now find the plugin activated and if you head to settings and then WP Review you're going to find here the global settings for the plugin. So you have three options here. First is styling and then defaults and then pro. And we'll have a first look at styling. With these options, you can change the colors used with the WP Review plugin. And you can customize this in order to fit in with your brand and your site. You'll see if you click on any of the colors, this loads up a color picker here and you can choose between any of the colors available on the color spectrum. You've got presets down the bottom, you can just drag and drop in order to choose as well as um, use this slider here in order to change the tint. If you want to use a specific color, then you can enter the HTML hex code here. And you can also just choose between these. So I'll just leave this back on that yellow. But you can also change the font color, um, as well as the heading background color, the background color, and the border color. You might want to test these out in order to see what they look like on your site and make sure they fit in with your brand. But you can also change these on a post by post basis, as we'll have a look at in a moment. If you would like to, you can also tick this box in order to add a little line of text saying powered by WP Review with a link back to the site in order to show visitors how you're powering your review. With all those settings done, you want to save those changes. And we can now have a look at the defaults. And this is where you can set the default settings used on the plugin. The first option you have is review location. And you can choose to have the review by default displaying after the content, before the content, or custom using a shortcode. We'll look at the shortcode later, and you can, of course, change this on a post by post basis. But I'll just set this to after content by default so that when I add a review to my post, I'm going to have it by default displaying after the content. You can also set the default features that you're going to be reviewing by, and you can add as many of these as you like. So these are the things that you're going to score your reviews by. Um, so you might just have um, these added in here. And you can, of course, add as many of these as you like, as well as delete the ones that you don't want. Once you're done making those changes, you can save those. And of course, with the defaults, you can change those on a post by post basis as well. The final tab has a link to the WP Review Pro plugin, which is the pro version of this plugin which features extra options such as allowing you to control the review box width, allowing the box left or right a circle rating review type, allowing users to leave comments, beautiful loading effects, showing the rating on your thumbnails and much more. And you can just click this link in order to check that out. With those settings complete, we can now have a look at how the reviews look like in posts. And to do this, we're just going to head to posts from our WordPress dashboard. And here you can either add a new post or edit a post you've already got. I'm just going to edit a post I've already got. And if I scroll down from my regular content, you're going to find below that I have the WP review box. First, you'll note you can choose the review type. Now there are three to choose from here. You can choose a star rating system, a point based rating system or a percentage based rating system. We'll have a look through each of these in turn, but we'll start off with a star rating system. You can choose the review header. So, um, I might just add that in here. And below that, you can choose the review item. Now you'll note you have the three default features we added earlier in the global settings. And here you have the option to drag these in order to move them around. You can also add any additional ones that you would like, but I'll just leave it with these three. With the star rating system, you can rank on a scale of one to five. So I might just have um, a couple in here. And you'll note that the total is automatically calculated for me. 
You also have the option to tick this box in order to change the location of the review. You'll note in the global settings, we selected this should display after content. So if I have this off, then that's where it will display. But if I wanted to change that, then I can do so here. I'll use the short code in this example just to show you how that looks. So you'll see a short code is automatically generated and I can now paste this into my content anywhere I like within the content area in order to get that to display. So I'll paste the short code there and we now have our review displaying halfway up the post. You can also select custom colors um, and you'll see you have the same color pickers as before. If you want to customize these on a post by post basis, then you can do so here. I'll just leave these off for the moment. You also have the option to leave a review description. So this can just be a summary of my review. Um, so I'll just take a little bit of text from up here and then paste that in. You have the option to add any styling that you would like using these buttons here. If you'd like to hide the description and total rating, then you can do so here. And you also have the option to add user reviews. We'll have a look at these later on. So we'll just come back to these and leave them disabled for the moment. I'll update my post and now view it on my site. And we'll see that halfway through this post, I've got the review displaying. I've got my header as well as those three features, the summary with the text and the total score. I've also got these three stars here and the total star rating. If I wanted to hide that total there, I could just um, go back and hide the description and total rating, update this, and I'll just show you what that looks like. You'll see that now you've got a much smaller box and that just allows your review to be a little bit more compact. I'll now head to another post and here I can show you a different type of review. We'll load up a different post here and um, add in a review quickly. We'll scroll down, see again we've got the review type. This time we'll go for a point-based rating system and we'll just add in a review heading. And with our features here, as we're used to by now, you can drag and drop and add as many as you like. The point-based rating system uses a one to 10 scale. So I'll just add in my numbers here and you'll see a total again is automatically added. I'll leave the custom location and custom colors off so the global defaults will be used here. Again, I'll just copy in a little bit of text in order to add my review summary. I'll then update the post and then check it out on my site. We're gonna see that the point-based rating system is now displaying below the content. And we've got these different options here with the three features and then the summary and then the total score out of 10. The final review type then, which we can change this one to, is the percentage-based rating system. You'll see this uses one to 100. And so to change any of these, I can just add in the numbers here. So I'll make that out of 100 update the post. And if we now just refresh on our site, um, then we're gonna see this point-based rating system change into the percentage-based rating system. And that just shows you how easily you can flick between the two. The final main feature we're gonna have a look at then is the user reviews. Now you can enable these by pressing enable here, and this will allow users to leave their own reviews on our site. You can choose between a star rating system, point and percentage for users. I'll just leave this on star in order to show you how this works. We'll update the post and then refresh. And we'll now see that when we load up our review, we have the option for user rating. Users can now leave their own reviews just by clicking on these stars. We can see now that the result is displaying here and the number of votes is displaying as well. This is a great way of allowing users to interact with your site as well as add their own opinions to your reviews. Now you may also be wondering how to get your reviews to show up in Google search results. WP Review uses standardized schemas or code in order to do this automatically for you. It is up to the individual search engine to add the reviews, but for high quality content, you should find the star rating showing up next to your Google search results in no time at all. And this can increase the click through rate to your website. Now, WP Review is also a developer-friendly plugin and features a number of filters which allow you to further customize how WP Review interacts with your theme. Now, you'll find the available filters on the GitHub site for WP Review, and you can find that just by Googling GitHub WP Review by My Theme Shop. The file is then filterlist.php. Here, you'll find all the available filters, and you can check these out if you would like to. 
So that concludes our look around WP review. If you're after extra features, then you'll find a pro version of the plugin at mythemeshop.com slash plugin slash WP review pro. WP review pro is a more advanced version of the WP review plugin, and it's the only review plugin you'll ever need. It's highly customizable and loaded with features, including additional review types, support for rest in the display, WordPress multi-user unlimited color schemes, and more advanced user reviews. It's a really powerful plugin and you'll find it on mythemeshop.com. If you need any help using WP Review, then you can register for free on mythemeshop.com and then head to community.mythemeshop.com and you can get support from our support moderators. If you like the plugin, you might want to give it a review as well, and you can either do that on mythemeshop.com just by leaving a review here, or if you head to the wordpress.org plugin directory, then you can log in here and leave a review with the ratings here, and that'd be really appreciated with the free plugin. I hope this video has been helpful and you've got WP Review set up on your site now. As I mentioned, if you do need any help, then head over to community.mythemeshop.com, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.